Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, Antonelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How we doing? Man, Antonelli here. So today we're looking at Sierra Romero. Been asked uh, recently to take a look at her fielding mechanics. I've been throwing up a lot of players, a lot of infielders, and talking about their mechanics. And one thing you're going to notice when you look at these, you know, really, really um, good fielders that play at a high, high level, they all look really, really similar when we're talking about these mechanics. And so I want to show Sierra and some of the things that she does. And, and you're going to notice again, just like the other players, uh, the other elite players, that she's going to be, you know, pretty much the same. And so let's talk about some of the, the foundational points of, of fielding, the things that I like to teach that I think, again, all great players do. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice is we always talk about timing, right? So we talk about it's right, left field, and your left foot is going to time up with the ball hitting the glove. And what you're typically going to see is you'll see heel first. So most fielders will go heel, and then the whole foot comes down as they field the ball. That's the timing to allow your body to stay in rhythm, to continue to work through the ball, to not get flat-footed, and to continue to cut down the distance towards your target and use momentum for your throw. couple other things you're going to notice that anytime you field the ball within the framework of your body so in between your shoulders you're almost always going to use two hands unless it's a ball that you have to just kind of reach out and you know it's going to be an in-between hop and you decide to extend reach out with one hand and try to shorten the distance and create a, a short hop the ball is going to be fielded with two hands and the glove is not going to close whoops the glove is not going to close so it's a deflection Right, so the ball goes in, the ball goes in above the fingers. So it's not down here in the fingers, it's not in the web, it's above the fingers. And then my bare hand, or I also call it control hand, that control hand or bare hand goes in and smothers the ball right here. So the glove doesn't close. Right? My hand secures the ball, controls it. And now I'm able to quickly transfer and take the ball out the throw. So really important, especially for young fielders, the glove never closes on a two-handed play. It's always a deflection. And you can work on this with your bare hand. You can work on it with a flat glove. But the key is you want to try, even if you have a glove on, I tell our infielders, you want to field the ball off the same part of the glove every time. And so what I tell them is, right around the index finger, right? Try to feel the ball on your index finger. When you're doing your bare hand work, feel it on the index finger. This is really, really important. You know, a lot of bad throws happen because the fielder doesn't control the ball well. They don't deflect it well. The ball's bobbling in their glove. They're trying to get the ball out. Now, all of a sudden, they don't get a good grip. They start to rush. Their mind starts to speed up, and they throw the ball away. So really work on securing the ball, deflecting the ball every single time. Okay. Another couple things. Notice that the fingers are down. So I tell our fielders, pretend that there's two eyes in the glove. The glove has got to see the ball. Right? So what I see a lot is instead of the fingers down, their hand, the back of their hand is close to the ground. And so the ball can't go in the glove, right? Remember, you're trying, you don't want to catch this ball. You want to get it above the finger. So you need to show above the fingers to the ball, right? And so it's a little hinge of the wrist. And just think fingers down, all right? That opens the glove up. I have to present the glove to the ball. Again, sounds really simple. A lot of young fielders don't do it, okay? Last thing I'll say, well, not the last thing, but one more thing before we get to the transfer is look at how flat her back is. So it's flat back. It's butt up, back, flat. What I see a lot of players do, young players, they go butt down. When their butt goes down, their back, instead of being flat, it gets vertical, gets up like this. When your back gets vertical, your eyes come up here. Now my eyes are far away from the ball. I want to work under the ball. 
right? I want to work below the ball. So we're always saying work from the ground up, get below the ball, work underneath the ball. The closer I can get my eyes to the ball, the more often the ball is going to go in my glove, right? So flat back, butt up, flat, flat back. When I get a flat back, I can get the ball out in front. I can get my hands out in front. When my back gets vertical, my hands come underneath me. And now I can't see the ball go in the glove. So another coaching point, we always say you've got to be able to see the ball and the glove in the same view at all times. If you can only see one, if you can only see the ball but you can't see your glove, that's a problem. How's the ball going to go in the glove? It might go in sometimes, but it won't go in as much as you want. So the I've got to see the ball and my glove. To do that, back flat gets my hands out front. All right. After I feel the ball, I'm going to funnel the ball to the middle. A funnel action is, for me, it's elbows out. So notice her elbows go out and her thumbs come up. So elbows out, thumbs up, bring the ball right to the middle of your body. And now from here, I can break thumbs down. I know you can't see her, the ball right here, but her thumb is underneath the ball. Her fingers are on top into a good throwing position. As I'm funneling to the middle right here, so I'm funneling to, middle, to the middle, my footwork is right to my left, left to my target. This footwork will set you up the throw to any base, no matter the position you're in. Right to left, left to target. I never have two feet on the ground at the same time. Notice right as the right foot's about to land, the left foot's picking up. So it's getting me locked on. Notice her right here, right? She's trying to throw this way. Right now, her shoulders are pointed that way. Watch what happens when she goes right to left, left to target. Now her shoulders are on the target. So that gets you in line to throw. It's the quickest way to do it. If you step behind, typically when you step behind, your shoulders keep pointing that way. And same thing if I... If I step in front, my shoulders don't get locked on as quickly as I want to. So right to left, left to target, break thumbs down. We always say if there's water just above your waist on your belly button, right? You're sitting in a you're you're in a swimming pool, water up to your waist as an infielder. Well, I want that ball to stay dry. Keep your fingers on top, thumb down. Going to make a short, quick arm action. You should get into this position of a V right here with your arm. It's a really strong position to be into. Really repeatable, quick. Not a lot can go wrong with that arm action. Not a lot of stress on the arm either. So there's a kind of a quick look. We hit on a lot of things, but... You'll notice a common theme if you go through our infielders. And, you know, I like to look at the best infielders. And when you look at them, you start seeing common patterns, movement patterns. They're doing the same thing, right? There might be a little bit of style. Each one might be a little bit different. But for the most part, these are, these are coaching points that we use with all of our infielders. And these, the reason we do is because that's what I see when I watch the best players in the world do it. So... Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Don't forget to uh, check out all our other videos. We've got more and more that we've been adding to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you can email me, matt at antonellibaseball.com. Um, I think that's all we got. Anything else i got to tell you? Hit the notification bell because we're going to be throwing out more videos, so that will make sure that you get it. Uh, and that's all we have. We'll talk to you later.